So at the end of last night's show, right at the end, we told you that the Dwarf King might be vacating his musky lair over at CNN. Turns out we were right. This morning, Jeff Zucker informed his bewildered minions at the disgraced cable channel that, in fact, he is leaving at the end of this year. And honestly, we're going to miss him. In a business filled with blustery halfwits, Zucker was absolutely the blusterierest, if that's a word. You cannot be elected president of the United States without CNN. He's once boasted to his felon lawyer buddy Michael Cohen on a tape we brought you a few months ago. Hilarious. It's kind of hard to beat that level of entertainment with your pants on. We didn't even have to watch CNN to enjoy it. But it's also worth remembering Jeff Zucker's other contribution to the American media landscape. Jeff Zucker's relentless attacks on the freedom of speech. Zucker created an entire unit at CNN devoted to shutting down any news organization that refused to toe the ruling class line. If you had unauthorized questions about anything, Jeff Zucker wanted to force you to be quiet, and he tried. Zucker staffed his own little ministry of truth with two of the most repulsive yet obedient imposters he could find, political activists posing as reporters, thugs pretending to be objective analysts. He set them loose to silence free-thinking journalists with threats, lies, and bullying. In a number of cases, they have been successful, a tragedy every time. CNN is, in fact, trying its best to pull this show and Fox itself off the air for good. Harm reduction, that's what they call it, as if Fox News was a deadly pathogen. That is not the behavior of a legitimate news organization, but it's exactly what CNN has become, a TV channel that makes billion, a billion dollars a year using the First Amendment to kill free speech in the rest of the media. That's wrong, but it's not just wrong, it's frightening. You don't want to live in the country CNN is creating. But Jeff Zucker has not done this alone. Going forward, we want to be a lot more specific and much more detailed about who is trying to strip you of your most valuable birthright as an American, which is the freedom to speak and hear the truth. Everything is based on that. And you should know the names of the people trying to take it away. You should know why they're trying to do it. You should understand the stakes. We want to begin tonight briefly, because we're going to have a lot more time in the coming weeks and months, because it's important. But we want to begin tonight with Jeff Zucker's boss, a man called John Stanky. Now, John Stanky runs AT&T, which owns CNN. Stanky knows what Jeff Zucker does at CNN, and he strongly approves of it. Last year, Stanky announced that Zucker was doing, quote, a wonderful job at the channel. And you should be concerned about that. AT&T is an enormously powerful company. In 2019, its net income was nearly $14 billion. More ominous, AT&T controls over a million miles of fiber lines. Chances are virtually everything you know about the outside world flows through AT&T's property. So John Stanky's opinions matter. He has an awful lot of control over your life. John Stanky thinks it's okay to silence the show, to silence you. Why does John Stanky think that? We would very much love to ask him. But in the meantime, we will keep digging and we're gonna let you know what we find.